Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. And for this lesson, we will mainly be working backwards to solve this question. And we'll try, we'll try to approach this question from a graphical method to see how it can be done. All right, so let us look at the question. Now, if the length of a square floor tile were increased by six centimeters, the area would increase by 192 centimeters squared. All right, and we are supposed to find the original length of this square tile. Now, a common misconception that people have is if we were increasing the length by 6 cm, then we could just take 192 divided by 6, right, to find the original length. But that's not true because we are not just extending one of the dimensions of your tile. If your floor tile is a square and I'm extending the lengths, it means I'm actually extending it for both dimensions, all right? So if this was what our original square tile looked like, and if this were to be one unit and one unit each, notice that when I'm extending it by six centimeters, right, let's say it's around this much, I'm actually, I'm actually going to be extending this dimension by six centimeters as well. Right, so this is 6 cm and this is 6 cm. So after writing it like this, right, after constructing this figure, we have a smaller square as well as a larger square, right? And we can see that these three question marks, when added up together, represent the total increase in the area, right? When my lengths are increased by six centimeters. So do we know what this area is? Yes, because this is six and six, and they multiply together to give us 36 square centimeters, right? What we don't know are these two values over here. But what we do know is that this dimension here is one unit and that this breadth over here is six centimeters. So six times one, let us let that be six units. And therefore the same can be said for this rectangle at the bottom, since both of these must be identical, all right? So if my total increase is 192, then by adding these three up, they should be equivalent to 192 as well. So therefore, we can construct a simple equation as shown. All right, so two times of six units, that gives us 12 units. And by subtracting 36 from 192, we would have 156. All right, so if 12 units constitutes 156, all we need to do to find one unit is to divide by 12. All right, and you will realize after dividing that this gives us 13 centimeters, all right? And since they want us to find the original length, which is one unit, then 13 cm over here is our final answer, all right? So just to do a brief recap, again, the common misconception is that we only extend one side by six centimeters, and therefore some students may think that, okay, this must be my new figure. But that's not the case because notice that the other dimension here must be extended by the same amount as well. So therefore, this here is our original square and this right here will be our larger square after the increase in length. All right, then we managed to first find this area over here of this small square and noted that the increase in area must be equal to the sum of these three new areas over here constructed. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.